Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. All right, let's get into it. So excuse uh, the late upload today, I'm just coming back from holiday. Uh, so I uh, I was traveling in the morning. Um, but uh, today I, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin's next major resistance band. And here you'll see on the daily chart, I have that, um, I have a, a new purple rectangle, basically denoting this new uh, range or band of resistance that I believe that we will uh, encounter and we're close to it. So as soon as you see Bitcoin getting close to this band that has the bottom range of uh, 53,000 about and the top being at about 60,000, 59,8, you'll see uh, some rejections. You'll see uh, a, a lot of sort of uh, retracements as a result. And, and this makes sense, right? If we look left, and how, how did I come up with this rectangle, right? So you look left and you see this huge Wyckoff distribution, right? Where you have these peaks and these valleys. It, it's a distributive range where Bitcoin uh, hit its all-time high of uh, 65K in April, in mid-April. And the bottoms of that range are pretty much the same are now our resistance and the tops of that range are are the top of our resistance so it, it makes sense that if bitcoin now were to revisit this region we would find a uh, quite staunch resistance and that is i believe the final test right uh for bitcoin to make so if price action can cut through this range um, then we're most certainly going to uh, print all-time highs and go way beyond that. So this is the final test for Bitcoin uh, for this bull run. All right, now what do we see in the uh, short term or the immediate short term rather? Let's go to the hourly chart. Already, you can see that our target of 52K, if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know that we called for a $52,000 target uh, from a bull flag. And let's see that. Basically, we had taken this. Yeah, which one was it? We'd taken this bull flag here. I hope you can see that. Here's the flag. It was... Yeah, let's we're on the hourly chart so it looks a little messy let's go on the four hourly chart and see it more clearly uh here okay so it was here that we saw the bull flag this is the the flag pole this was the bottom of the flag this is the top you take that flag pole you reposition it and you project the breakout and that's how we got our target of 52k they're about 52.3 and we almost if not hit it pretty much on the t because i did put this a little high uh, right there yeah so almost perfectly hit that and that's this is the power of trading bull flags again if you are new to trading, you're new to technical analysis, I welcome you. Just take two minutes out of your day, Google a bull flag, look uh, look at what the pattern looks like, what its projected targets are, um, the hit rate, you know, all of that stuff. You should see uh, there's so many resources, great resources on the internet. You know, you don't have to register for uh, the official charting course and flip through that thick book just to see, uh, you know, basic rudiments about charting and technical analysis. So we did hit that, okay? And uh, the next target I'm seeing from what we're printing right now, again, let's go back to the hourly, is it looks like we're printing a sort of uh, inverse head and shoulders here. So we came up, created a trading range, right? 
uh, and obviously this is hourly time frame, so it's it's not the four hourly, it's not as dependent or, or it's not as reliable, but still uh, we've spent some time in this range right here on this line of uh, point of control around 51, right below, below 52,000. We seem to have gotten rejected at 52.1, came down, gathered some liquidity, came back up, and we're retesting it, right? Will we get rejected once again? If we do, we're probably going to form a W pattern, right? Uh, let me get my pen out just so everybody can see exactly what I'm talking about. So if, let's say, we come back up here, we get rejected... We're probably going to do something like this, form a W pattern, gather some more liquidity, and then move up. If we do get rejected one more time, we're going to most likely form a double top, which is a bearish pattern, and then we're going to break down, down back to here, right? I hope everybody sees that. I'm sorry for the messy drawings, but... Basically, I'm saying that we're finding resistance. There's there's clear resistance here at 52, uh, right above 52,000, and it's basically at the bottom of this this uh, resistance band that I just mentioned at the beginning of the video. So we're going to try and test the bottom of this resistance, I believe, uh, at 53, and I think we will. So either we go up from here, or we form we get rejected one more time. Uh, form a W pattern, get, capture some more liquidity, and test the bottom of that range, then we may get rejected one more time. It's only right. It makes sense that we get rejected once we hit this, uh, the bottom of this resistance band, given that there's so much history, uh, as I showed uh, in April and May. You know, we had that trading range for so long where we formed our all-time high. So uh, I don't expect us to breach that trading range or that range of resistance uh on the first try or maybe not even on the second try it'll take some doing although bitcoin is still characteristically bullish to me as i said in my previous videos for those of you that are subscribed you'll know that uh with all of these bull flags that we've printed in bitcoin it's hard to see anything else except bullish momentum right um we're not yet showing characteristics of weakness uh, we're not printing double tops. We're not printing head and shoulders. It's still a very strong asset. That being said, there is still some time uh, for the altcoins to run, right? While Bitcoin fights with uh, this resistance and the lower band of this resistance band, this larger resistance band. Let's go back on the four hourly. So while Bitcoin fights over here, altcoins are going to continue to run. Bitcoin dominance is low, and we are going to get um, some good altcoin action. So, But as soon as we get deep into the thick of this resistance band, especially past uh, the center point, the midpoint, right? Uh, if you divide this range into two, right? This is kind of like the point of control of this range, meaning uh, if you uh, can go past the halfway point, that's significant. So there's going to be... Uh, some serious resistance at the midway point, and that would represent the midway point of this, right? This price action over here that we got uh, when we formed our all-time high. And that's exactly where I have our uh, our kind of high point for the third Elliott wave. And how did we get that? Uh, we basically did an Elliott wave count using FIBS, uh, and we have some confluence here with the highs here. So that's basically what I'm seeing for Bitcoin in the immediate to medium short term. Uh, and yeah, we definitely have some room, uh, not only for Bitcoin, but for the altcoin. So we'll just be tracking this very carefully. We're getting close to the point where we may have a, a healthy retrace, right, to form that fourth, fourth wave. So just be vigilant in your trades. Uh, know that uh, the retrace is around the bend. It's not too far off now. All right. That's it for, for, for me from, that's it from me for Bitcoin. Hope that was useful. Hope that was helpful. If you like these kinds of videos, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys soon.